situation. I'm going to give some exclusive information here. God strike me down if I'm lying, yeah? So when, when I interviewed um, Dalot, uh, Bruno, Tom Heaton, and David De Gea, yeah, the first person that came through was Diego Dalot, innit? And the reason why I call him Diego is because I kept laughing because I couldn't, I didn't know his name properly, innit? And ever Diego. since, Diego. So you know, he said to me, he goes, "Like we're very, we're very privileged as players because of the money that we get paid, innit?" And he goes, "The worst thing is, yeah, is to be on a pitch, yeah, and know you're getting paid this money, and people are shouting at you, knowing that, like." I'm getting paid all this money and I'm not even performing properly. He goes, the players that are going to start this next season, and bear in mind, this was way before the season started. This is like just yeah. after the season. They hadn't even done pre-season yet. He was like, we have a chance here to be remembered as the, the, the players that brought Man United back. Man said the redeemed team, you know. I love because that. If you look at it like this in reality, yeah, and what, 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 why I said that this guy, and this is probably why he's been playing so well. If you look at like Man United yeah, from 1992, class of 92, yeah, those players are remembered because they was the fabric of what became 1999 and, and what became 2008 and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. Yeah, But players that have come in between that who have joined and just and won Premier Leagues, you don't remember them because it's already mm. been built. It's yep. been a long time since we've been that team now, isn't it? So this is what I'm saying. Th these players could genuinely become new legends if they mm -hmm. are able to see what opportunity they have in it. And there's mm -hmm. a few players that you can see have that in them. That lot, every time he clears the ball, he's, he's doing this now. He's doing the first mm -hmm. part. You know what I'm saying? Lissandro, you can, they call him the butcher for a reason. And Malasio needs to prove himself. So that back line for me, I trust them all. All yeah. that, that back yeah. four. So HP, now when's the last time you trusted the United back line like now? The last time I did that, my hair was hair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid. It was hair. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that should show you long yeah, time yeah. Yeah, mm. boot cuts was allowed, bro. <laughs> there was you no say British in real time. There was no Bluetooth. Man was infrared. In. That's the infrared, last time. you know. <laughs> so, bro, it's listen, yeah. it's, it's, it's pure facts. What you're saying is facts, and look, there's some people are hungry, man. We ain't had guys that I feel like want to fight. You know what I mean? In a long time, and when you look at this team, as you mentioned, Lissandro. Um, Dallo, Malassia, they want to fight, bro. And that's what's mm. the most important thing. And this is what I said. Look, HP might have started a new one right now, but he redeemed said... Redeemed team is crazy. Like, I'm saying the redeemed team. What are you saying? All right, all right, no, that's not me. By the way, the redeemed team is the most funniest man that I follow on Twitter. But I'll, I'm hands down. So if we're calling it the Redeem team, it starts from here. Oh, you gassed him too crazy. He's going to go to the moon with this the shit, bro. Redeem team. Wait, I'm <laughs> getting behind team. that one still. I'm getting behind that one. Redeem Hashtag team, bro. The Say Redeem no team. More. Actually, HP, mm. tell me yours, actually. Your top, top five strikers in the Premier League history. history. Yeah. yeah, I did a video on it. Who's your top five strikers in the Premier League history? Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. In order. Uh, one. No, in order. I can't do it in order. It's mad. It's uh, mad. You got four oh, more to do, bro. In order. If I'm going to do it in order. This is my personal favorite, yeah? Mm. Ruben yeah. Nistere is number five. That's that's my personal. Luis Suarez. Wow. It's tough, bro. Sergio. Oh. No, Sergio's, Sergio's top two. Mm. Win. Sergio Ruiz, number It has to be Waza. So I'm going to mm. go. But I was going to think Waza or Aguero, but anyway, yeah. So, mm -hmm. number exactly one, right. number one, Thierry Henry, number two, Sergio Aguero, number three, Waza, number four, Luis Suarez, and number five, Ruud van Nistelrooy for me. That's a bit different to what you had, bro. Fair enough. Now, my, my one, my one was number one, because I'm just taking it into all accumulation, but remember, he said it's his personal, yeah? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. if it's like who I like, as in you like, got Ruud one. It, it'll change. I'll yeah. find van Nistelrooy number one, you know, I love that. <laughs> but mine actually, in accumulation to everything, is Henri one for me is the best player in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got Rooney two, then I got Aguero three. I had to put in Alan Shearer due to having the I had to, and then I've got actually got Harry Kane number five now. Man, I think Harry Kane yeah. deserves it. I know he ain't got a Prem, but people people will say Gerard's the GOAT midfielder with no Prem, but Harry Kane can't be re yeah, recognized. Yeah. So anyway, but I think Harry Kane's got to go in there now, man, for just the sheer accumulation of numbers, man. He's probably his numbers are just are just too crazy. But that's oh, my guys. Listen, go and watch the video for my full explanation on it. Anyway.